cares? I'm a comedian. I've just returned to Scotland after living in England for years. And man, what's happened to my country while I'm away? Why is there so much hate and intolerance towards the English? I can't believe it. It used to be a laugh. You know what I mean? It used to be fun supporting whoever was playing England. Now it's getting a bit serious, man. There's people at the border in hazmat suits yelling fuck off at English cars coming up and doing dubious salutes. English people aren't all like Boris, most of them are just like us, it's just a different accent, everybody's pretty much the same. Now we've got these Scottish nationalists saying they don't want people coming up over the border, man when did the SNP turn into the BNP? England's way more ethnically diverse than Scotland, look at the Scottish football team which is almost all white compared to the English football team which is more than half immigrants. Why are we telling English people we don't want them, like some of the stuff from the nationalists, like these tweets sent to Majid Nawaz, is just out and out racism. Man we all know most Scots are totally sound but you still get a few Scottish gammons, like we've all met one of these guys, maybe not so much a gammon as a clouty dumpling or a white pudding sitting in the golf club bar at 11am looking like Jim Davidson at a divorce hearing, his glasses steaming up while he bangs on about the glorious Scottish victory at Bannockburn. Man, Bannockburn was in like 1314, that's, that's like from before Joe Biden was born, that's older than VHS, that's from before Still Game started on TV. Man, Bannockburn is even older than the glorious Scottish victory against the English at Wembley in 1977 when Dalgleish and McQueen put two past the English keeper to lead us to a 2-1 victory. Oh man, and Bannockburn wasn't even really Scots versus English, Edward II was a Norman king, that means he's from Normandy, in France, he was French, why do you think he was so easy to beat? Man 1314, maybe it's time we let Bannockburn go, just let it be history? I'm worried that Scottish nationalism which started off so positively is going the same way as English nationalism. The logo on this banner is from Shaul Nangale, this is an ethnic nationalist fascist group who were actually banned by the SNP, they cut all ties with them in the 80s because they were doing petrol bomb attacks, but now Sturgeon's invited them back and has them marching shoulder to shoulder with the SNP. This photo shows Hamza Yusuf, the SNP justice minister, standing right next to Shaul Nangale, marching behind their banner, behind their logo at a parade. Honestly, some of the SNP propaganda wouldn't look out of place at a Nazi rally. Look at this logo for Wings Over Scotland, an SNP site, it's exactly the same as a Nazi tank logo. And this anti-Tory rap propaganda looks totally like Nazi anti-Jew propaganda. Honestly, what do these guys think that they're doing? Self-appointed border guards shouting at cars driving up on the motorway? It's an embarrassment. What do you think you're going to achieve? How can you hate Trump's wall and still be on the same side as Sturgeon's nationalist goons? Some of my Scottish mates say that English people look down on us, look this is bollocks, I lived in England for years, they love us down there, and not only that, we run the country, like the UK government, the civil service, the military, the police, it's all full of Scottish people, we're literally running the place, we even run their football teams. Why would we throw all that away? The EU hasn't even said they'll accept us into the union because of our debt and unsustainable finances. They've already got one Greece, they don't need another one with worse weather and no olives. The SNP say they're stronger for Scotland, listen, the only thing getting stronger in Scotland under Sturgeon is the heroin. Drug deaths have trebled under Sturgeon's rule, it's shocking.